What's going on, guys? It's Venomous Fat Man here from RealTalkingGamer.com, and I'm standing next to David Trusco. How's it going, bro? And behind us, check this out. We got a bunch of Italian fans. Who knows who this man is? The voice of Spain from Italia, Axis Powers. It's awesome. So, David, tell everybody how's the con been for you? What's been going on? Hey, it's been great here down in Florida. I've absolutely enjoyed myself. It's been fun. It's been awesome. treated very nicely. Treated yes. like a king here. I mean, I mean, look at all these guys. Got some great fans. Yo, she yeah. came in like a king. What's it like to be the voice of Spain, Italia? You know, what's it like voice acting? It's, it's a lot of fun. It's one of the best jobs that anybody could ever have. You get to go in, have a great time, do some wonderful voices. You get to meet some great people. People definitely appreciate what we do here, which is awesome. I don't know. I think we better clarify. Do y'all appreciate what David does? Yeah! There you go. So, with that being said, you know, what was probably the most difficult thing about voicing Spain in Italia? Well, the Spanish accent is difficult to do because there's so many different types of, uh, of Latin or Spanish, Spanish Latino. You can do Mexican, you know. Yeah. So, it's, it's, it's hard to get that, uh, that, that voice down. And that was the hardest part was uh, doing the Spanish voice. Which I kind of pulled a little bit from Antonio Banderas's. Oh, you roots. ripped him off! Come a little, on, a little bit for that. <laughs> but you have to kind of young him up a little bit too, because you know he's a he's a young guy. You know he's he's Antonio he Banderas. So. Too. He loves churros. Oh really? Hey, watch. Oh, so well, let me ask you this: you know, when you were going to start the whole voice acting thing with for Italia, okay? Did you have to do a little bit of research on the character, or were you, were you able to, to whatsoever? Well, I like to do that sort of thing whenever I'm playing a main character. I like to look through uh, look through the the. The animes look through what, what, what he is and, and how he is and, and uh, really get a sense of him. Oh, really? For the most part, a lot of stuff just comes on the spot in the booth while we get there. We get our lines right there that day and we gotta go through them in the booth and, and then we make magic happen. And it's just right on the fly sometimes? You know, you just gotta just go right off the top of your head? Pretty much, yeah, right off the top of the head. Okay, so let me ask you something. How big of an anime fan are you? I'm a pretty big anime fan. I, I like anime. I like uh, particular animes better than others. Though. Oh, really? Okay, so you're not going to go there for a second. But, you know, if there's a particular type of character that you haven't gotten a chance to do, what would be, like, you know, the type of archetype or the type of voice that you would want to do in the future? I really like the silly animes, like Shin Chan or Pansy and Stalking. Those, the really funny tongue in cheek stuff. I love those types. I love those types. So, yeah. if, if there's one, like, particular voice, because you, you didn't just do Talia, you've been in other stuff. Before, yeah. Other times, you know, like, for example, you know, tell everybody, you know, some of the anime that you've done. Oh, uh, we've done voices for Case Closed, I've done voices for uh, High School Rumble, I played Ichi, uh, in Midori, Ichimanji and Burst Angel, uh, played some uh, characters in Suzuka. Suzuka, there you go, that I've, works. I've kind of run the gamut of different animes. It's like, like, a, like an anime re renaissance man. Like a little bit, kind of like, you know. Well, I wouldn't take it that far, but yeah, sure, whatever you want to call it. So, with that being said, you know, before we wrap this up, what, you know, we're here at Chico Pond Level 2011, you know, having a great time. What has been the one, like, moment or one time thing that's really kind of caught you that you've had the most fun? I'll you know? tell you what, they took us out to dinner last night to the Capitol Grill. Really? And that was absolutely Him and the cool. guests, by the way, it was him, Robert, was Julia. Me, yeah, Robert, Julia, Richard, Richard came around, and, uh, and it was absolutely wonderful. You guys just hung out, just talked. We had a great time. I'm hanging out with Lord Zed. I mean, come on. Right. That was that's a guy from got, my childhood. Let me, let me put it this way: you got Lord Zed, you got Spain from Italy, you got Bato from uh, yeah, Bato from uh, was a Ghost in the Shell. You got Dito from Vandred, all hanging out having dinner. Imagine like some fan art. If anybody could do that, make a fan art of that because I think it would be amazing. And send it to this man so that way he can have a copy of it. We have uh, yeah, that'd be uh, that'd be absolutely wonderful. So. You know, any future plans for you now down the line in the recent future? I've got a few projects that I'm working on with Funimation right now that should be pretty exciting coming up through the, uh, the works. But other than that, keep it on, keep it on. Hopefully I'll be hitting up a few more conventions. Yeah, any con year. specifically that you may want to go to? Uh, Musicon. Down Musicon, in, yes. In, make uh, that happen. In uh, Miami, let's go. Richard and I are both looking forward to it. Oh, really? Awesome. There you go. If you're going to go to Musicon anytime, go next year. That should be awesome. These guys, this man is awesome. Richard's awesome. It's going to be awesome all around. So, anyway, thanks, David. Hey, you know, man. Everybody, let's get a big cheer for David right now. Woo!